Uh, we now switch over to the crypto market now, and Ladi is standing by. Hello, Ladi. Hello, Eni. Well, well, it's good to have you on that side today and have me on this side. Yeah, we, we switched it yeah. uh, today. But, you know, <laughs> uh, the, the market is, uh, the crypto market today is looking, you know, quite, uh, is quiet. Now, everyone watching uh, Bitcoin's, you know, next move, we've seen, you know, even But Bitcoin, but Bitcoin uh, has gained market. compared to Friday. Yeah, it has gained. But, you know, you know how traders expect more from Bitcoin. But at this time, it's being quite uh, uh, quiet as moment. Everybody's watching Bitcoin's uh, next move. And uh, looking at the uh, sentiment in the market right now, uh, that's talking about the fear greed index. We're seeing 52 points. It's at neutral. Hasn't, it, it did get to greed, you know, at some point uh, last week, but we're back at neutral, uh, showing that, you know, traders are still looking for direction in this market. A uh, market cap still sitting above $2 trillion. It's $2.16 uh, trillion at 24 hour volume traded in the total crypto space. That's Bitcoin uh, plus the altcoins, $94.43 billion. That's down about 13% this morning. Bitcoin dominance uh, sitting at uh, about 40%. Uh, percent. Uh, price of Bitcoin, uh, $46,233 this morning. We see it is uh, holding that key point at 45000 Traders are watching that level. Anything below that level could, you know, continue a, a new uh, decline, you know, for the price of Bitcoin. But traders are watching that level uh, uh, very much this morning. Volume trade at $27.09 billion. And we see Ethereum, they're still holding up uh, strong this morning, despite, you know, Bitcoin having a marginal pullback. We're seeing uh, Ethereum up about 0.12%. Volume trade at $15.25 uh, billion. And looking at the top alt by market cap, it's uh, mostly red on that counter, but we see Cardano still holding up. Uh, well, it's up about 3.35% at $1.21. We're seeing BNB, they're having a pullback 1.14 percent and uh, Solana. Solana has had an incredible run. It was below the hundred dollar mark just a few weeks ago but now uh, we saw that uh, rally for Bitcoin. We've seen Solana also uh, inch up there. It's at 136 dollars at 29 cents per coin and we see XRP they're still stable around the 80 uh, cent mark. Let's bring in uh, Illumide additional now financial market analyst. Hello Illumide. Happy Monday. Yeah, happy Monday to you. Uh, it's been a triple Grammy uh, week. <laughs> yeah, so, Alumida, I saw the uh, headline today about uh, a, a Bitcoin, you know, just 2 million Bitcoins left to be mined. We've mined 19 million Bitcoins uh, already at this point. Uh, what impact will this have on the market? Just 2 million Bitcoins yeah, left. Yeah, interestingly, understanding Bitcoin's anti-inflationary properties, you know, uh, the fact that it has a fixed supply, you know, it's been said that um, just 21 million will be mined. And I think um, before that, will take uh, the last Bitcoin, before, and I think nobody will be on it because it will take um, the year 2140. Uh, so uh, the... Uh, the anti-inflationary properties make Bitcoin very suitable for world uh, preservation and edge against inflation. But uh, the direct implication now has shown that uh, the difficulty level of mining Bitcoin has rose to roughly uh, 28.5 trillion. And what that means for people that don't really understand um, the, uh, the uh, difficulty level is the computing power needed uh, by miners to uh, produce Bitcoin that get, is getting much more uh, tougher. So, uh, interestingly, uh, we've seen that the hash rate is quite stable. Uh, we've seen that uh, the fact that adoption is relatively um, decent, despite the fact that we are seeing an orkish uh, U.S. Fed era. So, uh, I think one of the things we need to look at, is, like you rightly said, the market uh, price action is that Bitcoin has fairly been stable, despite the fact that it has... Um, dropped from um, a key level, you know, to the $45,000 uh, level. Uh, but having said that, we've seen that the adoption in the NFT space and the, the, eco, the ecosystem around Ethereum is making Ethereum quite exciting. And that's why you rightly said that we, we saw Ethereum still ranging around $3,500. But I think it's still um, safe to say caution is needed because the market is showing that volatility is coming to play with a uh, report that Russian uh, participated in some war crimes uh, across the week. So that will definitely create some market volatility for investors. Yeah, all eyes on uh, more sanctions at this point. But it'd be interesting exactly. to see, you know, what happens 
when the final Bitcoin is actually mined. I wonder if we'll still need miners at that point. Thank you so much, Olumide. Thank you. All right, so in the, uh, looking at the top five gainers there, we're still seeing double-digit gains. We see uh, Rose there's up 13%. Uh, Mina and uh, Pancake Swap there had a, a, a nice run. It was trading about $0.05 cents a couple of weeks ago. Now $10.16 per coin. It's up 10% this morning. So in the, uh, altcoins are doing really well in, in this market at this point. Yeah, well, uh, I believe you, Ladi, whatever you say. But I tell you, I can't get that conversation you just had with Olumide off my mind. It's just two million, just Bitcoin, two million Bitcoin left, left. to be mined. <laughs> That should send that price up. I mean, yeah. Exactly. When when uh, when supply is limited, you yes, get... that, that's the interesting, you know, part about uh, Bitcoin: limited supply on limited demand. Quite <laughs> incredible. Very incredible.